Mr. Vipia Harawa is the guest of CRTV News today. He is the clerk of the Pan-African Parliament. We thank you for accepting to grant us this interview, basically to help our viewers understand how the bureau election of the Pan-African Parliament is conducted. Um, when is the election going to take place uh, during this uh, sixth ordinary session and how ready are you for it? Uh, thank you very much for having me on your program. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to the Pan-African Parliament. The elections of the Bureau of the Pan-African Parliament is scheduled for the 10th of May from half past two in the afternoon to six o'clock in the evening. So we've put aside this three and a half hour period to conduct the elections. Okay. In terms of our readiness, uh, we are ready. The Secretariat largely provides uh, support for the process. So we are ready with the printing of the ballot papers. We are ready with uh, the team that will actually um, provide the support uh, during the elections. And so we're just waiting for the candidates to present themselves and then we proceed. Talking about the candidates, who can be a, a candidate for the position of president? Because it's a five-man bureau, uh, but we know that uh, the president position is the most coveted. You're right. The president's position is the most coveted. We expect that there will be five nominations for the position of president. The way that the Pan-African Parliament conducts its affairs is that the continent is divided into five regions, the north, the south, the west, the center, and the east. And each region is entitled to nominate one candidate for the position of president. For the positions of vice president, again, each region is entitled to nominate two candidates. And one of the two, um, must be, um, at least one of the two must be female. Oh, okay. Yes, so you can have two females or you can have a male and a female. How is the voting conducted? Is there a difference between uh, who supervises the election of the president and who supervises the election of the vice presidents? The voting is by secret ballot. Our statutes provide that the election of the president is presided over by an ad hoc committee. The ad hoc committee is a five member committee, usually um, one member from each region of the five geographical region regions that I, I alluded to earlier. Mm -hmm. And this ad hoc committee chooses a chairperson or president. And it is this chairperson who presides over the election of president. As soon as the president is elected, the ad hoc committee is dissolved. Then the president takes the seat and presides over the election of the vice presidents. There are four vice presidents, and they are ranked first vice president, second, up to fourth vice president. And the way you determine who is going to be first vice president or second or third or fourth is according to the number of votes that one has uh, accumulated. Okay, so the highest? The highest is the first. Is the first. Okay. Uh, finally, the issue of rotation has been uh, an issue of discord uh, building up to this election. Uh, how has it been settled? Yes, the issue of rotation uh, creates a lot of uh, discord and dissent. And the basic argument is that um, the Pan-African Parliament has enjoyed presidency from East Africa, from West Africa, and from the Central African region. But not from the Northern region or the Southern region. And uh, the argument presented uh, to the plenary in May and also to 
uh, the meeting of the joint bureaus mm -hmm. is that it, there should be rotation. The presidency should rotate. Now, it's not a regulation, it's not a rule. The principle of rotation is, is a gentleman's agreement. It does not stop a current candidate or a candidate from one of the regions which have already enjoyed the seat to run. Mm -hmm. But it informs the voter to bear in mind that we should rotate. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not a binding, but it's, uh, it's not a binding uh, principle. Um, I dare say it may not even be a norm, but it is something that puts on alert the voter to bear in mind that uh, they're going to elect and to give a chance to um, other regions to attend the presidency. So the reason why rotation is particularly a point of focus in the Pan-African Parliament is that if you just go by numbers, it is unlikely that some regions will ever have a president. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this bearing in mind the northern region, for example. The northern region has uh, six countries. By contrast, the uh, West Africa has 16. So if you, it's just a question of how many countries and how many delegates there are in a region, uh, North Africa will never, mm -hmm. ever.